Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawtonin from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to soften skin within Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free actions and presets that we have available on our website. I am going to begin editing this photo in the same way I start with most photos, and that's by applying my friend Susie's favorite preset that is available on the Flourish Academy website, but I notice that the image is still a little bit on the blue side, so I'm going to warm up the temperature, maybe pull up on the tint a little bit, just make a few minor corrections in order to improve this photograph. I think that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the overall before and after. Next, I am going to zoom in on her face and reposition this image and then access the adjustment brush by pressing K on the keyboard. Now, Lightroom ships with several adjustment brush presets and one of them all the way down here is called Soften Skin. Now, when you select the Soften Skin preset, You'll notice that all it really does is pull the clarity down to negative 100 and the sharpness up to 25. Well, I'm going to go with that for the time being, but I know that I'm going to need to make a few changes. I'm going to make sure that my feather and my flow are at 100 and also the density at 100. And I'm just going to really quickly brush over her face. You can make the brush bigger or smaller by using the left or right bracket key. Let's take a look at these adjustments before and then after. And I'm really not that crazy about the pixel blur here. So what I'm going to do is pull up on that clarity. I think down at negative 100 is just too much. That's a personal preference, of course. But I'm going to pull down on the sharpness and down on the noise. And now let's take a look at before and after. And I think that looks a lot more natural than taking the clarity just down to negative 100. But let's zoom out and see how this looks. Now I purposefully only did her face and part of her shoulder and neck so that you could see how it blends in with the rest of the skin around her. And I think it looks pretty good. Now if you're the type of person that would like to make this adjustment a little more strong, but you don't want to take the clarity down to negative 100, what you can do is click new on the adjustment brush. And again, let's move that clarity up a little bit, sharpness down and the noise down, and you can brush over the same area again. So you're using the same adjustment, you're just doubling up on it. And I find that to be really helpful because some people like this adjustment to be really strong and others do not. Again, that is a personal editing preference. But now if we look at the before and the after, with the skin softened at double the amount, you can see it made a pretty big difference. Now remember, if you think this is too strong, so maybe putting it on once was not enough, but twice is too much, you can click on the arrow button next to the word custom and just simply pull down on the amount of that second adjustment. So essentially what you can do is adjust this anywhere between one times the strength and two times the strength based on the amount. We'll zoom back out and turn that adjustment off and then on again, if you'd like, you could brush that over her decollete and her arm. That's up to you. And we can take a look at the overall before and after. And I think that looks pretty good. You can adjust this to taste. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.